Phil. Back for another week. Yeah. Here we go again, eh? Game yeah. time again. What you got for us, Phil? What you got well, for us this week, Phil? This week, I thought we'd have a bit of a fashion parade. Ooh, yeah. Mm. Very nice, yeah, yeah. Very so, good, Phil. It'd be so much, this could be so much fun for you guys at home as well, because you could borrow mum and dad's clothes. It'd be really <laughs> funny to have all big baggy clothes on. So what we're going to do, me and Dave, have, you don't have to use hoops, we've just done it so you can see better. Two hoops, we'll start over there. And then behind me here, mm -hmm. as you can see, there's an array of clothes. So we have, for me and Dave, we've got a tutu and a tracksuit and then a wig to put on his head. Just to look silly for you a lot on camera. Very fetching. Yes. And we've, we've taken our shoes off to make it a bit easier as well to get in and out of the clothes. It's up to you guys if you want to put shoes on. That's fine. And basically we're going to run from, when we say go, we're going to run from that hoop yep. Yep. to that hoop, get all the clothes on. Then we're going to run to that hoop again. And it's the first one to get all the clothes back off in a pile on the floor and say, Championo! <laughs> <laughs> so, shall we get to I'll get on the rim up. Are we ready then? Okay, shall yeah. we ready to go? Yeah, give it a go. Let's go, Dave. Ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go, Dave! Oh, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, go, go. What's this still up to start with? into a boat and to cross over to the other side of the Lake Galilee and he would meet them on the other side. He wasn't going to go with them in the boat. He was wanted to be alone and he wanted to go and spend some time talking to God, his father. So Jesus went up the mountain so he could be by himself. Well, while Jesus was up the mountain talking to God and listening to God, the disciples got into the boat. By this time it was getting quite dark because night time was coming quickly and as they got sort of halfway the wind got up and the waves got up and it became quite hard work to keep the boat on course. They took the sails down because they didn't want the wind to rip the sails and they were using their oars to try and steer it in the right direction. Now by this time it was pitch black apart from a few stars not many stars because, like I said, it was a stormy night. And as they were working hard, one of the disciples looked up and all of a sudden he screamed. He, let, he said, ah, what's that, what's that? And all the other disciples looked up and they all began to shout and scream and say, oh, it's a ghost, it's a ghost, what is it, what is it, oh, it's a ghost. And, and the boat was rocking even more because they were running around in the boat and some were trying to hide down below, but there wasn't much room. And some of the, Peter looked and he, 
he looked and he, he said, but I don't think that's a ghost, you know, I think that's Jesus. And they said, how can it be Jesus? He's walking on the water. That can't be Jesus. Oh, it must be a ghost. It must be a ghost. Peter, you're seeing things. That can't be Jesus. And as the, as the, as the figure got closer, Peter shouted out and he shouted over the winds and he shouted over the storm and he said, if that's you, Jesus, then tell me to come to you. And sure enough, the voice came back. Come, Peter. Well, when Peter heard that, he got his, he got his, 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 his clothes rolled up and he, he was all ready to leap out of the boat. Well, some of, the, some of his friends were saying, don't be stupid, Peter. You're always doing things without thinking. How can that be Jesus? It's the wind. You've not heard him. It's just the wind. Stay here with us and help us keep the boat afloat. We need you here, Peter. If you go in there, you'll drown. And some of the disciples were saying, leave him alone. Perhaps it is Jesus. Perhaps Jesus has told him to go out. And one of the disciples might have said, hey, Peter, just go for it. Go on, go for it. So Peter did. He got out of the boat, he jumped onto the water. And amazing thing happened. He, he wasn't sinking. He was walking on top of the water. And, and, and it, I thought, I, I can't believe this. And then he looked, at the, he, he looked up and he saw the, the storm and, the, and he heard the wind and, and he looked down and, and he saw the waves and, and, he, and he suddenly felt very, very frightened. And he began to sink. And he shouted, Jesus, help me! And Jesus did. He stretched his hand out to Peter. And he got hold of him. And he took Peter into the boat. And then he said, Oh, Peter, why did you doubt? Why didn't you believe? And as soon as Jesus got in the boat, it says that the boat was straight to the other side. Now, there's some lessons that we can learn from what happened to Peter. One, that we must listen to Jesus. Two, we must wait for him to tell us what to do. Three, when he tells us, we must do it. And four, we mustn't look around about us and listen to other people, but we must keep our eyes on Jesus. And if we do that, then fear won't come in our heart and stop us from doing the thing that Jesus has asked us to do. And the last thing that we can learn from that is that even though Jesus, that Peter didn't listen, listened, but then allowed fear in his heart and he looked around and he stopped doing what Jesus asked, even though he did that, as soon as he asked Jesus for help, Jesus didn't say, Oh no, I'm not going to help you now because you didn't do what I asked you to do. He didn't do that, did he? As soon as Peter asked for help, he, Jesus stretched out his hand and he helped him. So, this is what I would like you to do. I would like you to remember those things. And I'd like you to put them into practice in your life. First off, it starts with having Jesus in your heart and then by learning to spend time with Jesus and learning to hear him. And as you do that, then Jesus will ask you to do things. But remember to keep believing that Jesus will help you and enable you to do it. Whatever he asks, he gives you the, the, the strength to do Okay, well, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi everyone, and welcome to another craft. Well, this week, guess what I'm gonna make this week? I'm going to make Jesus walking on water. Okay, so you're probably thinking, well, how are we going to make Jesus walk on water? Simply with some different coloured pens, biro, 
a pencil, a rubber, a ruler, and you're going to need two pieces of A4 paper. Now I'm pretty sure Jesus didn't do it this way, but we're going to make Jesus walk on water today. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take one piece of A4 paper and what we need is our ruler and our pencil. And what we're going to do, we're going to mark some marks. The first one is going to be at nine centimeters there. The next one is going to be seven centimeters. And the last one is going to be 50 centimeters. And you're going to do the same on the other side. And then what we're going to do, we're going to mark in from the edge four centimeters at the top and the bottom. And on that line there, we're going to join the two together. And we're going to do just a dotted line because a dotted line just means that we're going to fold that and not cut it. And we're going to return it round and we're going to do exactly the same on the other end. Okay, now back to those other ones we marked. What we're going to do with them, very, very lightly, we're going to draw a line top to bottom. And another one there. And then the final one we're going to do there, but do them very lightly. And the reason is you can rub them out when you colour in. So can you see that? I think the camera can pick that up. So you've got like that. And then we're going to mark a line between the five and the seven, straight down that edge. Same at this edge. I'm going to put a five and a that one there, and then we're going to go 12 centimeters, put a dot there, and we'll put another line between the five and the seven. So can you see that now? We've got three solid lines, and that means we're going to cut them um, slits there. Well, back to the, the rest of it. So what we're going to do in that in this top line here, we're going to make some waves. Now, the way I do waves, you just go up, curl, up, curl, up, curl, and keep doing that all the way across. So you get some waves in between them two lines. When you've done your waves, we're then going to draw the rest of the picture. And what we need, and if you remember in the story, the disciples were in a boat, weren't they? So you're going to draw a boat just to near where that other line is. And basically, you're going to draw the whole picture out with the boat, the disciples, and the cloud scene. And you can colour that in then. And you will end up with, hopefully, something like that. So you've got the disciples, the boat, clouds, it was a grey dark sky if you remember with the stars and the waves all coloured in. What I did was, if you remember those, li those lines, I don't know if you can see them on there, can you see them just there? We then need to cut the slits. So it's either a pair of scissors just to cut them like that if you can, or what I did, and you may need an adult for this, is to get the end of the knife, the scissors, sorry, and just score down. Now, I did miss off earlier. About two centimetres in, you needed another line so that you've got two. And you'll see why in a minute. You then want to take a strip of paper off the other piece of paper, two centimetres all the way along there, so that you get this. So you've got a two centimetre strip, full length of the, the paper. Okay, if you look at that, that's the full length. So it's, it's off the edge of a piece of A4. And then you just want to cut out and draw a Jesus. Like that, you see. 
okay and what you need to do is cut out and, and glue or you can cut it out of all one piece it needs to be 18 centimeters from this end to Jesus okay and when you've done the two things very simply we're going to poke this end through here so that goes in and then the back out the other slit there okay and then you're going to poke this through that one that I forgot to tell you about and then back through and out there so and then what you need to do is where we did the dotted line you need to fold the dotted line backwards there we have it Jesus walking on the water how cool is that so there we go, another craft, quite a simple craft in one sense, but a lot of colouring and a lot of drawing for everybody this week, and it even tested me, I haven't done any drawing like that for ages, see ya! We're back, we're back, here we are, Woo! Bill versus Dave or Dave versus Phil. Where's that from? I don't know. I don't know. That it's, was from I'm doing the dodgy one. Yeah, that's, that's never it's right. Total, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, Dave, new challenge. New challenge. Chance for me to claw back those two points. Dave's on six. I'm on six. And I'm on four. So I need to get two more to get back up. So, this one's called Pantyhose. <laughs> they're yours, Phil. No, they're not. Oh, okay. They're not, they're not, okay. not mine. Okay, so <laughs> this, this is quite. It's simple, but not simple. Simple, but. And you'll see, you'll see oh, why. I see. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. what I've got for you, Dave, is a pair of tags. Yep. And in the bottom, I don't know if you, you guys will see this on camera, but in the bottom of the tags, we've put two, two P. Two pennies. One in each foot. One in each foot, yes. Mm. And the idea of the challenge is, Dave, it's the first, it's a race. So race. it's the first one. And what you've got to do, you've got to get both hands in the legs, okay? Feed it down. Now we can't tug on the, you know, you can't tug, you've got no. to wiggle. Wiggle? Wiggle both your hands down to get the two pence pieces, and mm. then you've got to get it off again, and it's first one, to get the tarts off and have the two pence pieces in each hand. Sounds simple, but it, it, it is. It's wiggling. That's what I mean. I'm not sure I'm good at wiggling. It's simple, though. but not simple. Are we ready, Dave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what you're doing? So no, yeah. no double, no pulling with the other hand. Yeah, Just yeah. feed them in. Okay. Hands on the side. Ready? Okay, yeah. Three, two, two, one, one, go. Couldn't get it in. Don't talk. This is the hard oh, bit. Oh, 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 Well there, Phil. I was useless. This, that is difficult. That's hard. It is. To use one hand in each. Yeah, yeah. It just sticks to me. Oh, yeah. You have to be jiggle. Jiggle. Yeah, exactly. I said I wasn't good at jiggling. Jiggling. Wiggling, jiggling. I'm not yeah. good at either of those. Well, there you go. So now I've clawed back that one. Yes. Yeah, so I'm now on five. 
But I'm on six, so it's just that one point. It's so close, it isn't it? I know it's going to go right down to the wire. Quite liking this. Yeah, yeah. Instead of you being way in front. <laughs> yeah. Keeping him close to you. Yeah, I don't like it. I keep, keep looking over my shoulder. Yeah, yeah. It feels there. He's, he's always there, just behind me. Well, I hope you're really enjoying these challenges. We are, yeah. aren't we? We are, yeah. They're good. They're good. That one's, that one's difficult. But give it a go anyway. See if you can do better than me. You, you can't do any worse. Well, Frank. No, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that reassurance. Phil. Okay, no worries. <laughs> anyway, it's time for us to go. See you. Bye. Bye.